Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Brent and today we have the craziest transformation in our entire library of videos we've ever posted. For today's video, we were brought a Jeep that a friend of ours bought as a parts Jeep to pull some pieces off and use on his own, some of which are completely covered in mold or even growing grass. Now, the story on this is that it sat in someone's woods behind their house for the last five years without doors. It did have a top, but we took it off beforehand for filming purposes because it was completely shot. But over time through the Ohio seasons, it took a massive beating. And if you guys are avid viewers of our channel, you know we've done some moldy cars. We've had cars with grass in the carpet, but we've never had anything to this extent. And as soon as we saw it, we knew we had to take this challenge on. And lastly, I want to remind you guys that we're making the push to 400,000 subscribers, which I never thought I would say. But make sure you're subscribed to the channel by hitting that subscribe button and turning on your notifications so you don't ever miss a video. And with that being said, let's get into the detail. Now we started with the exterior and we began with the wheels. Now a lot of the stuff that you guys see in this video you might look at and say they're wasting their time, why would they even bother doing this on a parts car? And the simple fact of it is one, we're making content to entertain you guys. Two, we wanna test ourselves. We wanna see how much we can do with this Jeep. And three, wasting time is just a relative term. If we wanna take our time out of our day to put the extra work in and do some things that might not even have needed to be done on this car, just so the outcome is better for you guys and for the person who bought it, we're gonna go ahead and do it because we did do this entire detail for our friend absolutely for free. So we just wanted to put the extra work in and make it look as good as possible. And hey, he might even decide to take some extra parts off that he wasn't gonna take before, so you never know. And lastly, I wanna hop into the question of the video, so leave your answers in the comments below. Throughout your lifetime, what is the absolute worst condition you've ever seen a car in? I'm curious if you guys have any cool stories or you've found any barn finds or woods finds yourselves. So leave it in the comments below. I'm gonna be reading every single comment. I'm alive, but terrified of dying 
Okay, so with the car all washed, it was time to prep it for polishing. And I mean, the color of the paint is actually kind of cool. This chameleon green looking color on the hood. It is different from the rest of the green, but the way that we were able to bring it back, which you'll see when we start polishing it, is pretty impressive. Um, I don't know, maybe it'll be usable for either him or somebody else. All right, so check out how oxidized this paint is. We didn't even do anything crazy, just a one-step light polish to remove oxidation, and you'll see the results. I mean, come on, you guys have to admit, for something that wasn't even necessary, this is pretty worth it. Now hopping onto the part I'm sure most of you have been waiting for, the interior. We started by pulling out the seats and unfortunately we could not get the passenger seat out. We tried for almost two hours to get it out and those bolts were completely rusted in. There was nothing we could do about it so we just had to work around it and pull the carpets out instead. And I'll tell you right now we found a couple surprises in this detail on the inside that I'm not going to ruin for you but let's just say there's a whole ecosystem in this car starting with these little bugs that were on the carpet in the back. And as we went along, we found more and more, which you guys will see. Next up, we have a little ant colony. And here's the one thing RJ and I have never seen in a car before. We found a bunch of honeycomb inside of this seat. And I don't know if we'll ever see this again, so.
If you guys are enjoying this video at all, make sure you give it a like. It really helps us out and we really appreciate it. Now, if there's anything that made a transformation, watch these floor mats from before and after. Even the color of the plastic changes, it's crazy. <laughs>
Now with the whole car put back together, it was finally time to put in all the finishing touches. And I have to say, it's really satisfying cleaning a windshield after it hasn't been cleaned for five years and sitting outside. And maybe the tire dressing was a little overkill, but you know we had to do it for the video.